In today's video, I want to show you the beginning of one technique that we use across my price action courses called frequency shifting. This was a technique that I came up with to deal with the fact that price changes its frequency while maintaining its overall angle and volatility range. Evidently, I could only come up with something like this after learning a lot of other good ideas from previous mentors, books, and so on. So it's an extension. The frequency shifting technique is not merely based on an anecdotal evidence that we can find in the charts by spending countless hours studying them. There is a strong theoretical basis that comes from modern finance, which extends its tentacles way beyond technical analysis, of course. The idea comes mainly from a discipline called statistical physics, where certain key concepts from both statistics and physics overlap. What allows us to do this kind of thing is the connection between physics and finance, where the general consensus is that price behaves like a particle suspended in fluid, mathematically speaking. The relationship between price acting as a particle and following a Brownian motion and the fact that price is also a time series allows us to use frequency shifting to understand the imminent future based on the recent past a little more effectively. I want you to realize also that the frequency shifting technique or works on several different scales both in the same chart and across different time scales as well. To syn synthesize what I mean by all of this, let me draw a standard pitchfork in three alternating highs and lows in the chart as the theory requi requires us to do. You probably noticed that we have about 300 bars in this chart, and as time passes by, the pitchfork is losing the ability to, ca to catch and trap price action within its boundaries. Price will disrespect certain lines only to regain that respect again a bit later. The fact here is that this pitchfork is correct about the angle and the volatility range of this movement down, but as price develops across time, the frequency of data points shifts. In our price action methodologies, we have a very smart trick to, to use this problem to our advantage. Using the third law of motion from classical mechanics, we can estimate that if the pitchfork is correct about the angle and the volatility range, but wrong about the frequency, we can adjust the pitchfork to the new frequency that price will tell us, and price will continue respecting this new frequency in the other extreme of the pitchfork as well. Once again, this is pure action and reaction from classical mechanics applied to data points that develop across time. Once we adapt the pitchfork to the new frequency, we can see that everything fits together and the pitchfork lines start to trap price action within its boundaries very smoothly. We can even see how certain bars will produce powerful reactions in the pitchfork lines, like we can see in the hybrid bar in the bottom of the chart. It's important that you realize that this is not cherry picking nor hindsight bias. The way we draw this pitchfork is the way we always draw any pitchfork and the frequency shift is something that can easily be spotted in real time. So there is no hindsight involved. Obviously I'm using an isolated example here to show you how well this works. In a real scenario you would have to combine this technique with several other techniques and the extraction of a narrative to validate a possible trade opportunity. So that's it for this video. If you wish to learn a professional price action method, check out my courses in the link available in the video description. If you wish to support the channel, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your trading community, and leave your comment below. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next videos. Take care.